Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create uh, spikes with pushback effect. Here I have uh, my spikes and first I want to add a collider. Second thing, change tag. I will use spike. Next, go to player script. To create pushback effect, I need a reference to my rigid body and I need some kind of force. Also, I added the spike damage and time variables. Here I have on collision enter 2D function that we used before and now we are checking if object that we are colliding with has tag spike. If that is true, we set our rigid body velocity to zero. This is very important and I will get back to that later. Next, we create pushback vector with force value only on y axis. After that, we add force to rigid body using pushback vector and we set force mode to impulse. Then we can damage player. And with this code we say that player can be damaged every 0.2 seconds instead of every frame. I think that I explained that in previous tutorials. So why is this very important? Because when player falls down on spikes his negative velocity on Y depends on falling time. For example player can fall on spikes after 0.5 seconds or maybe 2 seconds and velocity on Y will be much greater when he was falling 2 seconds. So when we add positive force on Y with pushback we will get different results and strength of that pushback. Of course we don't want that so we set velocity to zero and now we have same pushback effect no matter what. Let's try this. I will set force on Y to 7 and spike damage to 1. Click play and it works. We have a nice pushback effect. Last thing I want to say that if you go and add force on X axis it won't work. Let me show you. Now you think that something is wrong with this code but actually it's not working because we override force on X in player controls with move function. I just want you to be aware of this. That's it for today. Thanks for watching guys.